Welcome. Today we're going to be taking a look at Pampero. This is a one to four player hand management economic game where you take the role of energy companies in Uruguay. You'll be placing wind farms and towers along with fulfilling contracts trying to become the most successful energy company. How do you become the most successful energy company and win the game? By having the most money or profit at the end of the third scoring phase. Now that we know what the winning condition is, let's take a look at the components set up and how gameplay works in Pampero. Now let's take a look at the components. This is a prototype, so some of the components may change for the production version. You have the main game board. On the top left of the main game board, you have the turn order track. Below that, you have the bulldozer promotion spaces, along with the utility space. Below that are the solar contracts. These will be selected from left to right. Below that is your time track. The money symbol on the time track references a scoring round. Below that and on the right side are foreign contracts, one for Argentina and one for Brazil. In the middle of the main game board, you have your country. This is split into different regions, A123, B1, B2, and C. There are spaces in each section. You have tower space, wind farm space, combination space. The dotted versions are the starting spaces. The square spaces are your contracts. Brown is remote contracts and the clear are the standard contracts. The circles are the wind farm bonus tiles. Next, you have the electrical tower bonus board. This is split into regions A, B, and C. Base scoring tiles, one for A, one for B. Scoring tiles, you have A scoring tiles and B scoring tiles. Remote contracts, they have a cost at the top and reward at the bottom. Solar contracts, these have income rewards. Standard contracts, these are split by region and they have their income rewards. Electrical tower bonus tiles. These have a region on the back and a reward on the front. Wind farm bonus tiles. They have a region on the back and a reward on the front. Mercury rising time track. This is for a longer game. Specialist cards. There are action specialist cards. The gray is not region specific and the red is region specific. You have a cost and a requirement at the top or in the bottom and the main and bonus effects in the middle. Scoring specialists are used during these scoring rounds. Foreign contracts. This is for Argentina and Brazil. And on the front, you have the cost in batteries and the rewards on the right. In each of the player colors, you have, you have a power grid and income board. At the top, you have your income for the five tracks. It is split into sections called income bands. These sections are unlocked when you build the connecting electrical tower. When one of your markers reaches a gray space, you will gain a specialist card. The red icons at the top are spaces for investors. Under the income is the money that you'll get based on the location. For the electrical towers, they will unlock your ability to fulfill contracts or give a bonus for the last three. You have your energy track and above that is your contract area. You'll place contracts in these spaces, gaining bonuses or penalties in red. Action planning tableau, across the top and the bottom, you'll play action cards leaving one letter open along with the payment and energy bonus. In the middle are places you will place your electrical tower bonus tiles. And on the right side, you have a year reference action cards. On the back, it has your player color. And on the front, it has red or gray. So region specific or not requirements at the top or bottom. And then main effect and any side effects in the middle. Start bonus token, income markers, discs, energy marker, bulldozers, Transformers, wind farms, electrical towers, batteries. Also in the production copy, you're gonna have money, overlays, and your rule book. Now let's take a look at the setup. We're gonna be setting this up for a three player game, which takes 14 steps. Step one, place the main board in the center of the play area. Step two, place the time track if you're playing the longer game called Mercury Rising. For your first few plays, it's recommended to play the shorter game. Step three, shuffle, place, and draw three specialist action cards next to the game board. Step four, shuffle, place, and draw three specialist scoring cards next to the main game board. Step five, foreign country contract cards. You'll separate shuffle, place, and draw three foreign country contract cards on the main board. Step six, solar contract tokens. Shuffle and randomly place one face up on each of the solar contract spaces on the left side of the main game board. Step seven, built wind farm bonus. Separate them by zone, shuffle and place them on their matching zones and then turn them face up. Step eight, in-game scoring tiles. 
If you're playing the shorter game, you'll place the base scoring A and B on their corresponding spaces on the time track. And then you'll separate the red A and B, shuffle and draw one from each stack, placing them face up on their corresponding spaces at the end of the time track. Step nine, built electrical tower bonus tiles. You'll place the built electrical tower bonus board at the top of the main game board. You'll separate the tiles into A, B, and C based on the back, shuffle each, and then place them face down in their corresponding spaces in each zone. Step 10, flip the tiles and remove any with an X. Step 11, place standard contracts on their matching spaces. Shuffle the remote tokens and place one face up on each matching space. You'll remove any that are on spaces marked with four players. You'll then place the investor token pool. Step 12, get player components. Choose a color and get the action planning board, power grid board, three action discs, two wood discs, seven towers, 11 wind farms, the energy track cylinder, five bulldozers, 27 transformers, five income markers, eight basic action cards, a bonus token, a battery, and 25 in money. Step 13, place player components. Place your action planning board and power grid board next to each other in your player area. You'll place three action discs near the right side of your action planning board, the two wood discs to the side, seven towers on their corresponding spaces on the power grid board. Then you will take the leftmost and place it in A2. You'll place wind farms in your tableau, and then you'll place one in A2. You'll place your energy tracker on space one at the bottom of your power grid board, bulldozers in your tableau, and you'll place one in A2 next to a combination space. Transformers on the power grid board in each of these spaces, action cards to your hand, income markers on the leftmost space at the top of the power grid board. You'll place your bonus token, battery, and money in your tableau. Step 14, turn order. Randomly stack a disc from each player at the leftmost space on the time track, and then place the other disc on the turn order track, left to right. This is based on the stack. The top is the leftmost and will go first. The bottom is the rightmost and will go last. Now let's take a look at the gameplay. The game consists of a number of years until three scoring phases take place. A year consists of four phases. Action, consolidation, turn order, and scoring. Now let's look at each in detail. Phase one, the action phase. There are three rounds of players' turns. During these turns, you will mark an action one through three, and then either play a card to your action planning board, retrieve all your cards, or pass and take a battery and move your turn order marker to the lower track when playing a card. This takes three steps. Step one, select the action card and choose a row to play it in your action planning board, playing it to the leftmost empty space with the letter visible. Step two, pay the cost for the zone. Step three, apply the effect to the zone. If you choose to retrieve all cards, when you have two or more on your planning board, you can retrieve cards back to your hand and move one space forward on the time track. When you pass, you would take a battery, move your turn order disc to the same number on the bottom row. Keep in mind that uncovered batteries generate batteries in a consolidation phase. Now let's take a look at the action cards. For the starting actions, build wind farm and bonus. You would pay the bank or the player the tableau cost for that region to bulldoze the area for the wind farm. If it is your bulldozer, you'd pay the bank, and if another player, you would pay the other player. Then you would place the wind farm on that space, advance your energy marker based off the green line number. You would place any wind farm bonus tokens on the card that you have if you want to receive the bonus. And lastly, the bulldozer owner would move it to another free space in this sector or an adjacent sector. Build electrical tower. You would pay the bank or another player the cost in cash or batteries for the bulldozer based on the tableau. You'd place the leftmost tower in that space. If it's one of the last three, it would give an immediate bonus. Keep in mind that when you build electrical towers, uncovered batteries generate batteries in the consolidation phase, and they can unlock contracts. Then you would select two adjacent orthogonally bonuses from the electrical tower bonus board. If it is a tile, you would place it on your action board. The bonuses apply immediately. The bulldozer owner would then move their bulldozer. They would move it to another free space in this sector or an adjacent sector. 
Contracts. You can fulfill a standard or foreign contract, or fulfill a standard or remote contract. There must be a tower in that region, and you must check your icons on your power grid board if you have sufficient development based on the tile. You would pay the cost to the bank if it is your tower or another player if it is their tower. If it had a green arrow, you would advance the income marker one for each arrow, but you cannot enter an income band that is not unlocked based on your towers. You'd place the token on your power grid board. The first goes in the left column and after it must connect and to the left of your remaining towers. You must also check for penalties if they're connected spaces. You'd place a transformer on that contract location. If lines connect transformers, then you would collect the bonus. For a foreign contract, you would pay the batteries and get the reward. For a remote contract, it's the same as the standard. You would pay the batteries or energy and gain that income bonus. You have a three option card. An investor card, you would gain money based on the tableau. You would place an investor tile above your power grid on a red icon to the left of your towers and take the income from one marker in the same tier as the tile. And move bulldozers. You'd pay the cost plus one battery to move a bulldozer two spaces or two bulldozers one space each. And then you would move your turn order to the same space at the bottom of the track. Keep in mind that specialists give more options in actions or help in scoring. Once we do this three times, we move to phase two, the consolidation phase. This is carried out in five steps. Step one, retrieve your action disks. Step two, retrieve one card from the rightmost space of either row. Step three, produce batteries above the energy marker and to the left, count the number of battery icons. And you would gain that from the supply. For each electrical tower built, it would increase the quality of your power grid, which increases your batteries produced and unlocks contracts. You must have the energy level to charge batteries. Step four, collect income. Collect the money below each income marker. And step five, advance the time track. Advance one space on the time track. When you advance, you would place it on top if needed. Keep in mind that when the last time track disc reaches a money symbol, we would have a scoring phase. Phase three, adjust turn order. Turn order is adjusted. The furthest right on the time track is first, and then so on. And if multiple are in the same spot, the top would go ahead and turn order. And then phase four, scoring, if it is triggered. This occurs when the last time track disc has reached or passed the first, second, or third money symbol. For the first scoring in a short game, you would look at the A contract tokens. Multiply the corresponding icons on the contract tokens on your power grid board times the current income level of that type and get the money. And then play specialist cards from your hand. You would discard them and once scoring is finished, you would flip your income markers back face up. For the second scoring in a short game, for each contract type, you would count the icons of the type between bonus tokens as well as specialists if you play them and contracts. And then the player with the most gets the current income level of that type from the bank and you get nothing for ties. Then flip the income marker face up. For the third scoring, which is the end of game scoring, you would carry out four steps. Step one, evaluate in-game scoring tiles. Step two, play specialists. Step three, score in-game bonuses on built electrical towers. And step four, pay your private investors 30 each. And then the player with the most money has the best energy empire and wins Pampero.